I'm about to share with you the many ways that I use Facebook Messenger and ManyChat across all of my different client accounts and for my own business. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, so if you didn't know, I currently run a digital marketing agency and the services that we offer are Facebook ads, messenger marketing, like creating chat bots, um, building out chat bot templates, and then we build sales funnels using click funnels as our software. We build out landing pages, sales funnels, order pages, all that kind of stuff within click funnels, blog style pages as well, forgot to mention that. We also do a lot of content creation, so written content and then video and photo content for our clients, things like that. So we work with a lot of e-commerce businesses. A lot of e-commerce businesses are now getting chatbots set up and messenger bots and things like that. So we're staying pretty busy, which is awesome, but it's allowing us also to create a ton of different types of chatbots, messenger bots, things like that. So. Not only do we offer templates, and we've built a lot of chatbots just for template sales and things like that, but we do a lot of this stuff for client work as well. So I'm just setting the stage and kind of giving you an idea of how, you know, first of all, I use these chatbots in a wide variety of ways. Um, they're awesome, they're super powerful, and so I just wanted to share with you how I'm using them, why I'm actually using them in a wide variety of ways, because I'm doing it for clients and stuff, and, and for my own business, and when I'm creating this YouTube content, you know, I've got my own Facebook Messenger chat bot type of thing set up in a sequence. If you haven't yet gotten access to my free cheat sheet and video walkthrough called the 11 crucial features that your mini chat Messenger bot must have, then head over to freebosslifestyle.com. You can see exactly how I set up that messenger bot, see the follow-up messages that I'll be sending you, and you'll be able to access the PDF download and the video walkthrough that I've created there. So first way that I'll be going over of how I use these messenger bots, chat bots, things like that, is for my own brand, is to give away free downloads in the way that I just told you, right? To link people over to free digital downloads, and then to also drive traffic to different places. So you'll find out once you go in and get access to this free cheat sheet that I've created, that I'm sending you a video telling you the exact instructions to how to go about downloading the exact cheat sheet. You'll see that video inside of Messenger, and just to be able to watch a video inside of Messenger, I feel like is so freaking cool because I'm always comparing Messenger to email and there's no way you're ever gonna be able to watch a legit lengthy video with sound inside email. Now, email businesses, you know, people that do a lot of email marketing are putting GIFs into emails, and those are pretty cool to see. Um, they are gonna increase the file size of your email, but you're not, and you're not gonna have sound, but you know, it is what it is. So I'm using this um, My Messenger bot as a way to give people instructions on how to do the next steps. I am sending them a video saying, here's how you go about downloading the cheat sheet. And then once they do that, then I'm gonna follow up with them later saying, hey, did you download that cheat sheet? You know, there's a lot of great value and they're just reminding you to download that. So I'm giving value. And, and then over the following days, there's gonna be follow-up messages saying, hey, here's another piece of great content. If you liked uh, that previous piece of content or if you like my content in general, here is another piece of content that you may enjoy. So I'm linking them over to pieces of content. I'm saying, hey, here is a really cool mini chat template that we built out. Watch the video tour. See if it's something that you would want for your business. I'm linking them over to products. Um, I'm also collecting email addresses. So I'll ask you, hey, would you like to book a call with me? And I can look at your messenger bot. I can look at your Facebook ads. I can see what you're doing wrong, what you may be doing right. We can talk about strategy, things like that. So I'm using my messenger bot to get call bookings and during that call booking i'm getting email address phone number asking some questions about where you found me things like that so in a in a minor way i'm using it as data collection now i think that so that's pretty much all that i want to explain as far as how i'm using it because there's a million different ways and i'll jump into that here very soon so with our clients one way that we're doing it is through getting that data collection. We're collecting email addresses, we're collecting phone numbers, we're asking them questions as far as like qualifying questions. Like if it's a realtor, for example, we're saying, 
how much bedrooms, how many bedrooms, how many baths do you want in your house? What's your budget? Um, how quick are you looking to get this new house? How, when do you want to be able to move in? Uh, so we're, we're asking data collecting questions like that to our real estate clients. For our e-commerce clients, we are doing giveaways, and these giveaways are super, super powerful and incredible. I'm a huge fan of these giveaways because we're saying enter to win this product bundle, so they enter through Messenger. The first entry that they can put in is just them entering in Messenger. They can put in a second entry if they give us their email address, and then they can enter a third time if they go back and share that Facebook ad post that they originally saw. So the really cool thing about this is we're targeting cold traffic. We're getting people that have never heard of this brand or these products to become a Messenger subscriber. We're getting their email address. We're also then, after they've entered the third entry, then we're giving them a promo code to go ahead and take advantage of and, and go ahead and buy the products. If they don't want to wait to see if they've won, they can go ahead and buy the products at a discounted rate using the promo code. So we're actually getting sales. We're building multiple assets at once with these giveaway bots. And I mean, the, the conversion rate is insane. It's, it's different across all different brands and depending on the industry that we're targeting. But on average, our cost per acquisition, like our cost per subscriber acquisition is about 50 cents to a dollar, anywhere in between there. Um, now, for our more established brands that have an audience and have a loyal following to their brand, it's much lower. It's about like 30 cents, 40 cents cost per subscriber. And keep in mind, with these subscribers, we're getting them as customers, we're getting them as messenger subscribers, we're getting their email address. And just to give you some data on how many people are actually giving us their email address, on average, we're seeing a take rate of around 80%. So of the 100 people that get, you know, 100 people opt in, 80 people are giving us their email address, and then we're seeing about 60% then sharing the post. So you know, that's pretty awesome, I would say. To get a 60% share rate on your subscribers, 50 to 60, I mean, even 50%. Let's say that you got 100 new subscribers and then 50 people share that Facebook ad. That is so much organic reach and engagement, and it really helps your Facebook ads relevance score, if you know what that is. So this whole giveaway bot is one of my favorites and it is just working like crazy. It works especially well for the e-commerce businesses, but if brands that offer services and maybe have higher ticket packages are able to figure out a, a, something they can give away that's semi-related to their product, because that's another really cool thing about it is you wanna make sure that it actually relates to your product. So they're showing interest in your product. They're showing that they would like your product or that product bundle when they opt in and they're gonna go through those hoops and stuff like that for the chance to potentially get that product. So there's a minor bit of interest there. Yes, people love free stuff, but they're also showing interest in whatever that free thing is. So if you're a real estate agent and you're giving away a $100 Amazon gift card, it doesn't really align. You want something that relates to your real estate agent services, right? So figuring that out is gonna be the challenge. So that's another way that we're using these Facebook Messenger chatbots type of things. Another way that we're using these Messenger chatbots is for webinar opt-ins. So generally when we are marketing for a webinar, we like to have a download aspect to it as well. It's kind of like a PDF handout or something. So they're gonna opt into the webinar and then they're gonna also get access to a PDF. That is really, it kind of adds value, it's good stuff like that. So what we do is we run the Facebook ad, whether it's a video or an image ad, we're just explaining that, hey, we've got this amazing web class, master class, webinar, whatever we wanna call it. We don't always like to use the word webinar, but um, we say we've got this great education opportunity, and when you opt in for the webinar, you're also going to get this really cool PDF download. And any way that we can basically stack that value and make that offer seem bigger. You know, on the webinar, they're going to learn X, Y, Z, which is very high value stuff that they're learning, right? Then they're going to get the PDF download and they click on that call to action button, which then sends them a Facebook message. We're using the JSON growth tool. And depending on how we want the webinar structured, if it's a live webinar or if it's an evergreen webinar, then we're going to collect different data from that user. Typically, we always like to get their email address. So we'll say, 
hey, that's great that you're showing interest in the webinar. Real quick before we give you access to the webinar, what is your email address? Because we wanna be able to get two assets from these people. Now, sometimes you can split test. Uh, if you see a very low conversion rate on people giving you their email address, or you're seeing a lot of fake email addresses, then you may wanna just remove that step and then just have them go through Messenger if that's possible with how you're doing your webinars. But um, giving them the, you know, the ability to give you their email address is really powerful because then you got multiple ways to, to reach them over time as you, wanna, as you wanna warm them up and give them value and give them content. Email is another great option. Uh, another good thing that you can do, which actually what I forgot about the group the giveaway, is that when we announce the winner for the giveaway, we're telling them to join this Facebook group, and in there is where we've announced the winner. We'll do it in like a Facebook Live video, or even just a post, but we'll get like several hundred people. Like with two of our e-commerce clients, we got over 700 members in a Facebook group because we announced the winner through the Facebook group. So back to the webinar, if you're getting people to also join a group to learn more or to get more value, or maybe that's where they download the PDF download is like saying, hey, you know, give us your email address and that'll get you access to the webinar. Um, click here, join the group, and the pinned post at the top of the group is your download link for that PDF download. And you gotta really make it worth their time, right? If they're gonna go through the obstacles of joining the group and then downloading it, I mean, they're kind of fighting for it. You gotta make the value of that PDF super duper high. You gotta really pitch them and sell them on why they need to download this because you're making them kind of go through a bit of obstacles to get that, right? But it's super important to do that because it is building your multiple assets that you're trying to build and being able to reach them in multiple places. And then with the group, you get the whole community aspect, you get a bunch of organic reach. So for the webinar opt-in, once we collect their email address, then we're gonna go into Zapier and we're gonna set up a Zap to then send that email address over to our email marketing platform, over to our webinar hosting platform, over to our CRM, wherever we wanna send that, but we wanna link that with Zapier. So the different ways that I've covered so far is delivering a lead magnet, getting people to opt in for a webinar, collecting email address, like lead type of info, getting people to do call bookings, give me their phone number and things like that through call bookings, delivering a promo code, sending over a video, an informational video that you want somebody to watch or an instructional video telling them what they need to do for the next steps. Like if you're doing a big giveaway and you want them to go follow your Instagram page, you want them to like your Facebook page, you want them to subscribe to you on YouTube, you want them to, you know, having a video where you're explaining all of that or maybe having a PDF download that you can send them through Messenger to explain all the different steps. You know, if your opt-in process or what you're trying to have people to do is complex, you wanna make it as easy as possible for them to understand. So really there are millions of ways to use these Messenger bots. I just named just a couple of what we're actually doing, but it's up to you to get creative with all the different things that you can do and, and really bouncing them around from, I mean, all that this really is is just a funnel. You're getting them from Facebook or you're getting them from Instagram or from wherever your traffic source is. You're driving them into Messenger and you're getting them to do certain things. You're educating them, you're sending them content, links over to content, videos. Uh, you can tag them and put them into a sequence and then you can follow up with them. I mean, another idea just real quick that we're doing is we're doing this 12 days of Christmas where we're getting people to opt in and that they're being opted into a 12 day sequence and each day they're gonna be sent an exclusive deal of the day type of thing for leading up to Christmas. So that's another quick way that we're, we're doing it. I mean, there's a million different things that you can do with Messenger. So the one thing that you should do is start using it. Start playing around with it. Start watching more videos of like this where I'm giving you ideas. Start looking at different templates and seeing how those templates are set up or buying different templates. Quick plug, go to evolvemedia.agency to shop through all of our different mini chat templates. We've got about 20 now and they help you accomplish all these different things. They're low price point, anywhere from like $7 to $97. Super cheap for these different templates. You can buy one, you can buy two. If you use the promo code SAVE20, S-A-V-E, the number 20, then you can save 20% and it's even cheaper. So go to evolvemedia.agency to check those out. Be sure to go over to freebosslifestyle.com to get access to the mini chat messenger bot cheat sheet video and 
actual PDF download. And then on the Free Boss Lifestyle website, you're gonna also see that I have a free digital course that you can jump into, where you're gonna learn ClickFunnels, Facebook ads, copywriting, all that kind of stuff. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you got value out of it, and I hope you do start to experiment and really build out a lot of crazy cool messenger bots. So I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching, peace.